Now there was this one Spider-Man game that I sadly missed out on playing, but this game was considered to be the best Spideyverse game to exist. This game was called Spider-Man Unlimited. It released back in 2014 as basically a Spider-Man game mixed with Temple Run or Subway Surfers. And during its lifetime, it was able to gain about 30 million downloads before it would unfortunately be discontinued in March 2019. Spider-Man Unlimited is of course a mobile game, but was a good game that connected players to the vast Spider-Man universe. One of the best aspects of the game was the ability to collect and upgrade different versions of Spider-Man. This included characters from the comics and movies such as Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man 2099, Miles Morales, and hundreds of other spider man The game also featured unique levels that allowed you to swing through the city in certain parts of the level and also fight against the villains using special abilities and using combos. It also included special events that were connected to the wider Spider-Man universe, such as Venom Invasion and Spider-Verse events, giving players an opportunity to be a part of the bigger Spider-Man story. But since the game was discontinued, I'm sure a lot of players missed those days of playing Spider-Man Unlimited. Luckily for me though, I was able to get my hands on the game, but it's more like a demo rather than the full game. Though it still gives me a chance to see how the game was like when it was out. So in today's video, we are playing Spider-Man Unlimited. But before we start, my question for you is, what was your favorite thing about Spider-Man Unlimited? Comment down below. Yes, sir, we on that Spider-Man Unlimited. Now with this game, I'm pretty sure that you can't play that much of it. I'm pretty sure later on when you get to a certain mission, there's like no way you can progress any further. So we're gonna see later on if that happens, but I know that this game just is kind of crazy. I never got to play it back then. I never knew it existed, but I heard about it recently and I just wanted to test it out. We sitting here with Spider-Man, Secret War Spider-Man, I think. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of this suit, but it is what it is. But this game here, Oh my goodness, take a look at this. You see that number right here? It says I have five out of 427 characters. And I'm not even sure this is the full game. Like this could be like our early patch or something of the game. So I already played a very small amount of the game. So we got the Secret War Spider-Man. We got the Mongaverse Spider-Man, you know, Future Foundation Spider-Man, Bombastic, uh, the normal common Peter Parker Spider-Man. And we got Venom. So these are ones that I don't have, and I don't think I can unlock any of them either. But seriously, I could be here all day yes. just looking at these. Spider-Man Homecoming, got Silver Sable, you know what I'm saying? She looking good. Uh, Scream, Red Goblin, look at him. Looking crazy. And then Iron Spider, Infinity War. We got all of this, bro. Uh, little Venom, <laughs> why he look like that? that? Yeah, he look kind of crazy. Uh, Carnage, Black Cat, you know, some light, some light, Anti Venom. We got Agent Venom here. You know, this video could be legit two hours of me looking at all these characters, these suits everything because this game is definitely like the number one multiverse universal Spider-Man game out there. Like there's no other game that has this many characters. It's insane. Like the star Venom variant right here, you know, Got Father Spider. <laughs> what the heck? Who is Father Spider? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is. <laughs> you look crazy. Spider Clone Guardian. It, it's insane. So many Spider-Mans that I've actually never seen. And it's actually interesting to look at like all these different versions. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you would want to see all these suits, but I kind of just want to play the game, to be honest. So uh, let's get to it. <clears throat> so this is the tutorial scene that I already seen, but I'm pretty sure y'all want to see it too. So we're gonna rewatch it. Blow out sail at the bad guy Long John Emporium. The worst part about every new dimension is hearing the same tired jokes over and over. When we're done gathering the ISO eight, we're going to shut your mouth for good. New dimension, ISO eight? Have you been sampling your granddad's cough medicine again? Playtime is over, webhead. The Sinister Six will make sure of it. <laughs> oh boy. Either this guy just got his first case of acne, or something bad is happening. Spider-Man. Nick Fury? This can't be good. You got that right. You got that, that right. Goblin isn't the one you're familiar with. 
He's from a dimension where the Sinister Six has taken control. And he's bringing an army of villains with him. Why? Is all their pizza deep dish? What? No! They've come to harvest a rare isotope called ISO-8 from our world. In exchange, they'll leave the gift of total destruction. The longer that portal stays open, the harder they'll be to stop. But you're here to give me the instruction manual so I can swing over and save the day, right? It isn't that simple. Something like that. Our intelligence shows that the rift is being held open by one of the members of the Sinister Six. The problem is, we don't know who it is or where they're hiding. You need to take them out one by one until we close this thing. Otherwise, New York is gonna get some nasty new residents. And I'm not talking about the hipsters. Alright, here we go. We get into the gameplay. Now, I've already played like six levels so far just to get the feel of the game. And it's not that bad. It's like Temple Run, of course, and uh, Subway Surfers. But you can do a little bit of extra stuff in here. You can swing. You can do like a, some attacks like this. Oh, wait. Ooh. I don't think I should attack him. You gotta collect these like vials and stuff. I'm not sure what they're used for, but it's part of the mission. So, gotta keep doing this. Uh-huh. Never thought I'd be playing a Spider-Man mobile game on my channel, but shoot, here we are. I heard a lot of people talking about it, so I wanted to try it out. Pretty cool, you know. Sucks that you can only play a little bit of it. And I'm pretty sure a bit of you guys are very confused on how I'm playing this game right now. And pretty much, to put it simply, all I did was just look it up on how to get the game and I downloaded an Android emulator and downloaded just the game on there. All I did and I uh, I failed. Okay. But I wonder what happened with this game because it seemed like it's not that bad. Did they like have a licensing issue? Did they just decide to cancel it just cause it wasn't doing that well? Like I'm curious. Maybe it was because they were charging a lot of money for people to buy characters and stuff. I have no clue. You never really know what's going on with these companies and why they shut down the apps and games. Slide under, go down there, to the right. There we go. I'm just trying to get three stars. That's all it is. That's all I want. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> all right, so we on another level. I'm pretty sure the one after this, I get to fight a green goblin boss or something like that. Who knows? But it does suck that in this game or this version of the game, I can't use any of the special abilities like. I can't use those little purple ISO thingies or whatever. And I can't buy any characters at all. And what the heck is this? Going to another area? Hold up. Okay. And yeah, so you can't really buy nothing and damn. I didn't face plant it on the screen. And kind of back to what I was saying before, you know, can't buy no characters and whatnot, but what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? I'm not even supposed to be playing this game right now. So just me playing this game right here, experiencing just a little bit what this game has is crazy. Hold on, let me swing through this. I know with these levels, you get to punch on them a little bit. It's nice. But uh, keep it on going. Wait for them. There we go. Look out, it's Menace. Okay, I'm gonna look out. Like that, there we go. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Get him up there. Dodge. Attack these. There we go. See, this part is cool. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's, it's a mobile game, you know? At least you got some more actions in this running. So we got one star. No, sir. Gotta get some more. But yeah, this video is pretty much a test to see how this game is. You know, I might play some more of this game. You know, if y'all really want to see this. You know, it's very out of my comfort zone, like I said before. Not really used to playing mobile games on my channel or recording it necessarily. But I mean, if y'all want to see some more of this game, I got y'all. At least to the point where I can keep playing. You know, I don't know when it stops to the point where I can't. Plus, I also got to get to The Amazing Spider-Man, the first one. And then I'll probably play Spider-Man 3, Friend or Foe. You know, there's a couple of games out there. And some of y'all be asking me why I don't play Miles Morales. And that's mainly because I already played the heck out of that game already. You know, I platinumed it, you know, have hella hours in it. You know, it was just one of those games I've played already, not these older ones. So that's why I don't play it. You know, I've already experienced it. It's a good game, but it's that new gen stuff and I failed. Okay. Oh, it looks like I actually ran into an issue here. So when I click this, right, and it says Team Power 11, but I have to have Team Power 12 in here. And I can't get any new characters right now. So this might be 
this might be it i don't know if i can play after this you know maybe if i figure it out later we'll play some more but uh yeah this was unlimited spider-man you know it's cool a little mobile game just wanted to try it out for the one time on the channel hopefully y'all enjoyed this but until then we are out Beep.